some say they weren't good enough. Al Lou thought different. It's time to dust off your comfy chair, sit in front of the big screen TV, grab your favourite beverage as the thunder from down under, Sparring DK presents... Rejected. Regen. Rebuild. Brentford FC. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to a brand new series. It's Rejected Regen Rebuild. Now, uh, thank you for your patience. I know there hasn't been a video uh, on the channel for a while. Obviously, I've just been in the UK for three weeks. Uh, then got the call up from EA Sports to head over to Vancouver for some uh, some secret business. But uh, we're back. A little bit jet lagged. Um, but, you know, we've got to get on with it. We've uh, got, what, eight to ten weeks until the new FIFA hits us. Uh, and I wanted to bring something to the channel. Now, uh, this may be a little bit thrown together, but uh, hopefully the format is to your liking. Uh, so without further ado, let's get into what the hell is happening with this series. We left Hartlepool. Al Lou, we are doing a rejected regen rebuild. We have taken a hold of Brentford. Now, they were a club in the championship last season. This is a continuation of that Hartlepool save. Uh, and they won the playoff to come in. So they were basically the lowest rated team uh, that, you know, got the hop up back to the Premier League. So we've taken a hold of Brentford. I've given them a billion dollars to deal with transfers. And I've already been through all of that negotiations and stuff. Uh, so we'll go and have a look at the squad very, very soon. Uh, but yeah, the idea and, and, and context of this is we'll try and get through a season at least maybe two if we have time uh, But to see if we can do better than Hartlepool United with uh, you know The guys that we didn't feel were good enough. Al Lou has made the transition He's gone ahead and recruited players of days gone by and uh, it's 2029 I believe so We've got work to do but I've got the squad ready So let's have a look at who's made the move here to Brentford Right, we've only got a 23-man squad. Uh, I kind of went after the highest players we could. Some weren't available for transfer. They were too important to the teams that they're currently placed with. Uh, the interesting move here is that Beerman was already at Brentford, uh, so we've given him the captain's armband. Now, we've picked up Tomo Takata, currently in an 82. His backup is Jin Ma Son, uh, a 70-rated South Korean goalkeeper. Now, all of these players have come through Al Lu's Youth Academy system. Uh, there may be a regen or two, I'm not too sure. Let's get through this squad though. Of course, we've got BMN at a 79. We brought in Evan Beveridge, the Australian. We didn't really see him at Hartlepool. He pretty much went straight out, but 73 rated, an exciting prospect. Uh, Wesley Ballantyne as well, we didn't really see much of, but at a 76. Uh, and the real issue with this squad is that we didn't really develop a lot of midfielders or central defensive midfielders throughout the Hartlepool campaign. So we're going to have to make some, some changes here with development plans and maybe turn some of these uh, wingbacks into midfielders. We'll see how we go through this season. Kasimov is back, the man from Uzbekistan, 77 rated, not the highest, but uh, there wasn't a lot of centre-backs to deal with, and we know we had a few pains with them in the past, and that's probably why they were moved on from Hartlepool. Let's hope that they can have a better uh, experience here at Brentford. We've got Keelan Bridgman from Barbados, he's at an 81, and Leon Bauman, the big Swiss, um, 73 rated. Now, he's a big unit, 6 foot 5, 180 pounds with the power header. Hopefully, uh, he can have some impact. Right back, we've got Kai Zhong up to an 85. So uh, he went very early, but has looked to have developed quite well. Uh, Ruben Dubay, 82 rated. And uh, Hartlepool tried to pull the trigger here and get rid of Gudinho. So I swooped in and picked him up. It wasn't really the thought in this series, but I'd rather them come to us than go to other clubs if they were leaving Hartlepool. And that's actually the only one thus far that has uh, tried to get out of the door. We've got Kofi Sinogo, the 80 rated. So a lot of right backs here. I think Dubay and Sinogo might try and move into CDM or center mid positions and we'll run with Zhong and Gadinho as the right back options. Zhong Wang gets another crack. Uh, his third run here under Al Lu at 84 now. Albertini De Rossi, see, this is where we're struggling. The only center midfielder at this stage and he's only 74 rated. We bring Ari Magnuson over to Brentford. Now he was a regen, but yeah, the Cam's. He was the highest rated, so I managed to get him across the line. Goncalo Felix as well, 77 rated Portuguese cam. Uh, we've brought Nicholas Fister over, the Swiss winger, 85 rated. So uh, he obviously went out, was a free agent for a couple of seasons, ended up at Bologna, and uh, now we've pulled him across here to Brentford. Dimitri Vranks, the Belgian, I've got a feeling he might move inside back into that centre midfield role. 
Uh, Jesus Kika as well. We'll see. We've got a few wingers here that can maybe move inside into a, a more, you know, playmaker spot. Maybe Kika is one of those. Cole Penny rejoins us, the Canadian winger, 78 rated. And Fadalan Saputra, the Indonesian right winger, 82 rated. Strike force is a little bit thin as well. We've brought back Majewski, uh, 83 rated, and right behind him is Finn Walsh, only 73. But that is it. That's about all I could bring in. Uh, the rest were too valuable to their clubs. We looked at Timmerman. We looked at uh, Huggins. They couldn't get the jobs done because their clubs wouldn't release them. So we've got a 23-man squad. This is probably what's going to see us through. We will look to bring some Youth Academy talent in as well. Um, but yeah. 23-man squad of rejected regents. Uh, hopefully, they can do some work here in the Premier League this season and we can have a red-hot crack at Hartlepool. All right, to give you a, a look at the formation, we're, we're continuing uh, the old faithful. So, uh, Wayne Magnuson, Fister, Majewski up top. Now, I've got Dubay and Franks in the midfield at the moment. Uh, Jean Casimov, Bridgman, Beerman, and Takata between the sticks. And then, uh, you know, we've got options here. We'll have a play around, see who fits, uh, who needs some work, development plans and the likes. But, uh, you know, a chance to develop some of these players that... We may not have really utilized too much in the Hartlepool series. And uh, if Hartlepool decide to pull the trigger on some of their f players on their list, we'll see if we can swoop in. But I think we've spent about 900 million just uh, <laughs> getting this squad together. It's a little bit crazy. Well, let's get into season number one. Right, not a lot of objectives here for us, which is good to see. They just wanted us to avoid relegation, reach the round of 16 in the cup, and a mid-table finish within two seasons. And that is everything Al Lou needs to take care of. So. Uh, Low domestic priority. Let's just have some fun this season and see if we can get some dubs on the board. Right, just to give you a quick idea of what is left over, I haven't shortlisted everyone from the, the previous list. Um, but uh, Kone, I'm going to leave him there. He was a regen, 89 rated at Manchester United. Um, what else have we got here? Options, options, options. Mostly Hartlepool. Huggins won't move. He's too important. Uh, I've brought a lot of left backs, but... Uh, Leanne can't come across. Coenza is an option, but he's just gone to Wolfsburg, so that's probably not an option. Fonseca, 80 rated. Like, if we're a bit short, we could possibly have a look at a couple more players. Waddingham, he's too important. Uh, Moen, 26 release clause, but we're running out of money here. Uh, Jilma, uh, what else have we got? Jinder Ali at a 76. Timmerman, too important. Couldn't get him across. That would have been a bit of nostalgic value. Uh, Bradshaw's too important. Aslani there, the left back. Um, Wu won't come across either. I really wanted that fourth centre back. Um, Onana, just another wing back. El Mazzuni, uh, we could have paid the release clause there. Kurbanov's an option. He's still a free agent, so if we get stuck, there's another striker, Tchaikovsky. And what else have we got here? Bars. They're just all wing backs that we must have developed. Barnes is only at a 70, and we're probably getting a little bit low now. Uh, Wu at a 69, Sal 69, Salake at a 68 if we really need it. Well, he's too important. He's too important to Drogheda United. So um, yeah, we're a bit we're a bit stuck there. But if there are any former players that aren't on this list that you feel might have made a move across here to Brentford, let me know in the comment section of this one and we'll see if we can get something to eventuate before this transfer window shuts. Right, so we are already here on the 18th of August, got through that transfer window mostly, and we're up to the first game of the Premier League season, and it's a tough fixture here. Straight away, we're off to Anfield to take on Liverpool. Let's see if the boys are up for the challenge of the Premier League. Back with our Lou. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go at Anfield. Brentford <sighs> hooking up with our Lou, and uh, hopefully... We can have a bit of an impact here today. Damn it. Gets us out of trouble. Finds Ruben Dubay in the midfield. There's Wang back for Dubay. It's a majestic run from little Ruben. Relishing an opportunity in the midfield. Can he get a cross in here? He's trying hard. And that one's picked out only as far as Magnussen. We'll just set up some play here. Looks inside. These guys will be familiar with the Aulu style. Here's Fista. He'll look to deliver one in deep. Looks for Wayne, can't find it. It falls to Dubay. He'll drive his way forward. Dubay works. Allison, early corner here for Brentford. Oh, oh how low. He's looking old. But Ruben Dubay, good strike. A good save from Allison. Liverpool attacks. Ruben Dubay trying to put some defense on here. It's laid back off. 
Pedri. Jong was there. Bridgman misses the tackle. More pressure here from Liverpool. Laid off. Good from Wang. Branks lays it forward. Magnussen gets the touch now. Can lay it forward. Fist up in open season. Open range. Nicholas Fist up. Works his way inside. Oh, where's he gone? He's laid it back for Branks. Oh, geez. First game of the season. And uh, the boy's a little bit rattled. Oh, Ruben Dubay. He's having a field day. And here goes Magnussen. Pushing his way forward. Fist up. Works his way inside. It's Majeski. He's inside. Majeski. Good save, Allison. Brentford corner. Fist up to deliver. Goes deep. Oh, yes. It's the big man on campus. Oh, I think it's Bauman. No, it's Kasimov. The man from Uzbekistan. Living in the shadows of Rakimov as a cult hero from his country. Has got forward and has the first goal of the season here for Brentford under Al Lu. He is a big man. And it's a big finish. And it's 1-0. Brentford up the bees. Frank's getting back to help out defensively. But you know Liverpool are going to try and charge their way through. They're putting numbers in. Jong does well, gets in, and here is Fist up. He's away again. He's got some speed, the Swiss. He's got a man here inside. Gets the touch on. Frank lays it forward. Magnuson will be offside here. Well, actually, I don't think he was, but he's choked the chicken. Good from Jong. Fist up. Dube just picked out there by Pedri. Numbers coming forward. Need to be wary. Liverpool will attack. And won't hold. Here's Alexander Arnold. Looks it inside. Good save from Takada. Shaw gets out, gets a foot on it, feeds it off. Branks gets the touch and then just feeds it forward. Oh, Majeski, that's a rough touch. Fist up, manages to pick it off. Magnuson. And he set something up here. Looks inside. Branks just picked off by Pedri again, closing in on half time. It's been a spirited performance. Good pick off again and a read from Jong. He'll push forward now. Lays it off. Has Fister. Fister is deep. He's got Majeski deep. Can he rise? No. Picked out. Ruben works his way back. He's given it away to Bellingham. And now defense will have to settle in again. Two minutes to go here in the first half. Good from Jong. Ranks. Magnuson. Oh, just trying to do a little bit too much here. Pedri. Good save from Tomo Takata. And that will be a corner for Liverpool. Late stages of the first half. The shot came in from distance. But big Tomo Takata. Whoa, get in, lad. Gets the clearance. Magnuson clears. And there we go. Half time. At Anfield, it's 1 0 to Brentford. Liverpool with some space here. Beerman's going to have to shut the gate. Alexander Arnold, you don't want him on the ball. Beerman trying to feed it through. Dubay, Pedri, Jean. And just launches it forward. Good from Fist up. Franks gets the touch. Dubay can lay one forward. Here comes Fister again. Flying forward. Fist up. Lays it across. And he's got Magnuson. It's 2-0 Brentford. Source being unleashed here. Ari Magnuson found himself in the right place at the right time. Fister just slid it across the box. And bang, in it goes. 2-0 Brentford. We're up and about. I haven't played since the latest uh, gameplay patch, but uh, we are here on Ultimate Difficulty, and we are running right at Liverpool. Bellingham slips through Wang. Brings it inside. Casimir played it off to Carter. Clutch save. Jong just needs to clear. He does. Looks for fist up. Bellingham brings it back in. Liverpool putting on pressure. That one's laid inside, and Bridgman gets the block in. Jean tries to clear, and it's a goal kick. Oh, there's the finish. Well, no clean sheet here for Takata today. The defence has been strong, but Liverpool have pushed and pushed and pushed, and it's Bellingham getting the finish there. 23 minutes to go in this one. Just got us a little bit disorganised at the back. Had space to shoot, and it's a clean finish from Bellingham. And that makes it 2-1 here at Anfield. Brentford having to dig in now. Oh, Majeski takes it off him. Majeski! Get in! Well, 
It looks like Liverpool have absolutely imploded as Majewski snatches the ball and makes it 3-1. Wang with some good head. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! 3-1. Brentford. Get in, Lou. Right, we'll make some changes here. Penny for Wang. Uh, Godinho in for Jean. And Felix in for Magnussen. Yes, Beerman gets in. Dubai. That's the touch. Bridgman lays it off. Dubai came flying through. Liverpool pushing forward. Trying to hold the space here. And oh, Takata gets a finger on it. Out in the midfield. That one's laid through. And Takata with the save. Two minutes to go. No, one minute. Corner here. Brentford looking to start their season with three points here on the road at Anfield. And that one is missed. Bellingham. Beerman gets in. Good challenge. Can't pick it off this time. Bellingham having another red hot crack. Beerman there. Lays it through. Dubai finds Penny. There's the whistle. Brentford making a statement. Now Lewis had them up and about. And the opening day of the season, it's three points for Brentford. 3-1 over Liverpool. Well, a game that was pretty much controlled by Liverpool. 15 shots to six. But uh, we get stuck in. Ten saves from Takata. And uh, it's a 3-1 win on the road for Brentford. Second game today's episode, we're at the Brentford Community Stadium, our first home fixture. We host Manchester United. We're going to have to deal with Kone up top. Oh, this is going to be a real experience. Saputra checks in, Felix checks in, Kika checks in, Bauman checks in, and Godinho checks in. I'm going to keep these rotations going, see who feels right in positions. And, well, we've got to win against Liverpool, so we shouldn't really change too much, but we want to have a look and see if there's anything better. Let's have a crack here at home against Manchester United. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. The Brentford Community Stadium. And uh, isn't it a sheer delight to be playing here in a real stadium? Uh, looking forward to this encounter against Manchester United. Coming off a good win on the road. Can we back it up here at home? Dubai. Got reamed, but Magnussen manages to field one out here. Goncalo Felix. Walsh flicks it through. Here is Magnussen to finish. Oh, and he slaps it wide. Oh, Walsh has just picked this one off. Bang! Oh, what are you doing, Hendo? 1-0 Brentford. Let's go. Walsh getting a start today. And the Irishman gets a quick finish. Opens up his campaign with uh, just some quick thinking here. Had a bit of speed. Not the type that goes up your nose, that's for sure. Just uh, quick legs. And bang. 1-0 Brentford. Get in. Oh, lovely. I think that was Kika, it was. Works his way forward. Bin Walsh. Lay it through. Kika kept on running. He's just Kika. Can he set up here? Gets cut off at the pass. Tries to find himself an opening. Brings it inside. Magnussen lays it off. Walsh has another look at it. Lays it off. Magnussen brings it back inside. Walsh. Can he send something up? Manchester United putting on some pressure. Dubai. Kika. Oh, good challenge. Kone's played Lang through. Kasimov gets the touch. Bauman gets lost in his own feet. He's keeping him out for a second. Kone looks inside. Has the shot blocked by Kasimov. He tries to flick it on. Here they come again. Oh! Oh, look out! Hendu's had another hell up. Walsh gets another steal, but it's Magnussen getting in on the action. That's his second of the season. It's 2-0 Brentford. Jeez, Al Lu has brought the sauce to the Brentford Community Stadium. Jeez, they must have been bathing in it. They're dripping. Walsh is picking off everything. And well, after the coming off the bench and getting a start here, he might have jumped in front of Majeski already. Really showing something. The Irishman. And a lot of time here by the referee. A lot of time. And it's 2-1. 
Lang gets a late one. And we'll go in to the sheds at half time. It'll be a 2 1 lead. But the story of Al Lu, we know how to attack. Defense, not 100% solid. 2 1. And there is that half time whistle at 2 1. Oh! Come on! Fucking Dubay just had his head knocked off, ref! Crikey! Well, Lang gets his second. It's an equaliser for Manchester United. Not sure what happened there with little Ruben Dubay. He, he comes out to make the challenge and just got levelled and. Hmm. 2 2. Brentford looking a little bit lackluster. He's lame. Oh, jeez, he's hit the sidebar. That comes back inside. Jeez, he's got himself a hat trick. He's turned it on here in the second half. Lang got a little sniff before half time. Maybe he had a sniff at half time. As he has come out all guns blazing. And Manchester United take the lead. He scored the last three in a row. Brentford needs to gather themselves and try to go again. 3 2. Oh no, it's all falling apart. Brentford felt like they were in control. But a few dodgy moments at the back. And Manchester United makes it 4 2. Well, once again, we just needed a simple clearance here. He's just played it straight to him. The Drogadinho, the culprit there. It's 4 2 Manchester United. All right, a couple of changes. Wang for Kika. And Sonogo checking into the midfield for Felix just to get a bit more defensive and see if we can get back into this game. Finds Beerman. Works his way through. Beerman. Oh! <laughs> Fucking get in! Beerman with a banger. What a finish from the German left back. Fuck me. That is a sensational goal. <laughs> Henderson had no idea. That is a special goal indeed. Beerman has just dropped one in from the penthouse. 4-3. Game on. What a finish. Our final change. Walsh checks out. Majewski checks in. Let's get some height in the box. Oh, he's done it again, Henderson. Majewski! 4-4. Let's go. Henderson having an absolute hell of here at Brentford. He's cost them three goals. Just being an absolute bell end. How are you not reading this? Okay. 4-4. Four, four. Clear it, boys. Clear it out. What are you doing? Oh, man. Cody gets the finish to put the nail in the coffin. It's been a big fight back from Brentford, but once again, an absolute brain fart. Our defence just scrambling, clutching at straws. What are they all doing here? And Takati are well out of position. 5-4 Manchester United. Goals galore here. That's probably a loss. There is the whistle. <laughs> well, an up and down match, but it's a loss at home to Manchester United. Lang with a hat trick. On 13 shots to nine, they had the possession. Um, yeah, a very interesting encounter. A lot of, well, I guess if Manchester United's keeper didn't fuck up three times, it would have been 5-1. So, uh, all right, we'll take it. Right, let's just get a third and final game in for the opening game of this new series. Uh, it is a cup fixture. Uh, we're going to Allen Road to take on Leeds. Uh, Ballantyne, De Rossi will get a chance here. Uh, Beveridge as well at left back and Song between the sticks. It's a cup match. Let's give them some minutes and see if we can get through in the next round. All right, on the road again, the cup game, Carabao Cup. It is the second round of being a Premier League side. We get put through. But uh, yeah, we've drawn Leeds. 
And this is another opportunity. If we can push through here at some stage, maybe we'll meet Hartlepool. Well, let's have a crack. But from Ballantyne, getting a start here today at central defensive midfield. Cole Penny works his way forward. Chips it over. Oh, it's taken a touch. Saputra lays it down to Rossi, has a crack, tries to come through again. And good defence from the Leeds defence. Oh, that's not a good save. And our defence had no idea where the ball was. Leeds take the lead. 1-0 through Burt. Oh, dear. A bit of sloppiness there. Uh, that's to be expected. Walsh, uh, I think Beveridge just sort of tried to sit in position, didn't really jump the Australian. There's no Wallace Holmes, that's for sure. And Sung couldn't react. 1-0 Leeds. Oh, the pressure. It's too much. Leeds are really getting stuck in here. Penny does well. And we've done pretty well to hold on to only be 1-0 down. The amount of pressing that Leeds have been putting on. Looking for numbers. Rossi finds Penny. Try oh jeez, rat! Fucking send him, mate! Fucking send him! Oh, that's a dog's breakfast. Just a little uh, just a yellow. Oh, we've got one through here. Cole Penny. We slip around. Oh, picked out. Wesley Ballantyne works his way inside. Oh, what are you doing? Have a shot, son. Oh, ruined. 1-0 halftime. Tries to take it on. Gets it over the top here. Sepultra. Works his way back inside. Crosses it in. Oh, my days. Was that Felix having a bicycle chance? I mean, it's a good save from the keeper. We'll get a corner. Bauman. Finds Gadinho. He just tries to work his way through the middle here. Cadinho can lay one through. Felix in the box. Goncala Felix! 1-1, Brentford in the game. He tried the bicycle, and this one's a little bit more simple for him. 1-1. Cadinho with a blasting run through the middle. And Felix with a clean finish. Gets in, lad. Here's De Rossi. Pushes his way forward. Lays it out to Poultra. Brings it back inside. De Rossi! Oh, what a save! Cole Penny! Can't get on the end. Felix. Penny. De Rossi! Good save! It's all happening. Beverage. Felix. Lays it through. De Rossi lays it off. Walsh! Oh, he saves it! Oh, that's poor defending. Very poor defending. 2-1 leads. Lacking composure here. Some of the youngsters just trying to hold. The gaps are starting to open up. Bowman missed the big challenge there. Bridgman in no man's land. 2-1. Cole Penny just busted one up the line. Valentine looks inside. Beveridge lays it off. Felix! Get in there! 2-2! Two, two. Brentford, baby! Well, Al Lou invests in that Hartlepool never say die attitude. We're back in this one. Beveridge looks like he's picked up an injury, but still had a hand in the play. I think he's got the assist. Quick touch, and Felix gets his second. Beveridge will check out. Beerman checks in. Beveridge for Beerman. Brilliant. But from Ballantyne. Sniffed it out. Penny. Beerman. Plays it forward. Walsh. Laid off. Here's Felix again. Oh, he's done it! 3-2 Brentford! Carla Felix. Making a name. Making a statement. And going for a run. Brentford, baby. 3-2. Huge performance here. Beerman straight into the action. Quick one touches. And it's some clean finish from Felix. 
3-2 Brentford. Let's go. Deep into injury time. Leeds having a crack. Just need to push back here, defence. Yes, Ballantyne does it. Well, Brentford comes through. We're into the next round. Well done, boys. That is a magnificent effort. Felix with a hat-trick. Well done, lad. Well, there we go. The fight back from Brentford. 12 shots to 10. Uh, and a hat-trick for Goncalo Felix. Right, so that's what we'll bring episode one to a close. Wolves on top, but they have played three games. Uh, we sit in sixth at the moment with a one and one record. Hartlepool with a one and one record as well. Um, but we've got a better goal difference. So, uh, yeah, we've started off promisingly. Jeez, some cracking goals today. It's good to play with some of the players that we just didn't think would make the cut. And they're having a red hot crack. And that's where we finish episode number one. Hopefully you enjoyed it. We'll see you in the next episode. I'm Sparring DK. It's five o'clock somewhere and you have a good one. The Sparring DK channel now has Patreon. And if you feel like just going that little extra step to help, uh, you know, the channel grow, you can go across to the website, pledge your allegiance to myself. And uh, for $1 a month, you're basically putting it in a jar and allowing for us to go and buy some more beers and record some more beer drinking episodes. Thank you very much to the current lads that have gone ahead and supported the channel. Absolutely tremendous to see anybody willing just to give that $1 a month at this stage. I cannot thank you from the bottom of my heart. You you really will make a difference in the future. So jump across there if you're that way inclined to the Patreon channel. Sign up today and we'll see if we can get some extra beer drinking episodes for you at home. Now, if you are looking for some more content, we've got a couple of videos. One here, one here. And if you want to subscribe, there's a button right there. So go ahead, subscribe, and you'll be notified when the video...